What's going on Lawn Care Nation? Richie Plums of Plums Lawn and Landscape. And I tell you, it's dry. I know you guys probably seen the video. If y'all seen my video of the Cub Cadet review. Uh, man. She's dry. And I've not mowed now in about three weeks, hoping we'd get some rain, but we're not. So uh, we've got some pretty tall stuff here. Uh, just the little shoots coming up, the seed heads coming up from a little bit of the rye that was left. The the fescue's pretty well. Uh, it's hammered. I mean, there's there's nothing we can do about it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down to about three inches. Just cut it down, let it die out, and start all over again. Uh, probably the, the you know in the beginning of fall, I might get something down before then. I don't know. I doubt it. But uh, it's my yard, so it's uh, kind of where we get to do all of our practice. And if we screw something up, then hey, we're not out of anything. It's, it's like I said, it's my yard. So um, here it is, guys. We're gonna we're gonna mow her down to three inches. That stuff's pretty tall, so probably get a few seed heads gonna stand up. But uh, I'm gonna mow it down anyway. Uh, I hate to do it, but I can't stand to walk through a yard that's uh, knee high. So let's get you a little video of that.
There it is. Boy, that looks bad. Good old dead fescue and a little bit of rye and a bunch of weeds. <laughs> the ground's about as hard as a, a rock right now. I mean, it's, it's, you could, uh, you wouldn't want to fall on it. I mean, it'll be like hitting pavement. I mean, look at that. Dead in the door now. Looks like winter time on a lot of our zoysia and Bermuda lawns. Uh, of course, I do not have an irrigation system. Uh, it's one thing I do not have is irrigation. Uh, we bought this house uh, four years ago, five years ago when I bought this house. Actually, when we first bought this, the grass was about six foot tall when we moved in, so it looked a lot like this when we first started. So. Uh, last year, I decided to put grass down. We've never planted anything. It's always just been weeds. Uh, just simply, I mean, we're just trying different things too. I mean, as you can tell, the tree line's back here, but there's nothing really shaded in the yard other than this little area here, which has never really had grass in it. Uh, it's all uh, a compacted red clay. But I did have someone send me some stuff. I'm not going to mention any names or any of that. So uh, they sent me some stuff for my lawn that uh, we're going to use this year and uh, try it out. I wanted to wait till uh, all the rye had completely died out. Um, which as you can tell has happened now it's all pretty well gone so uh, that's it guys we mowed her down like I said it was about a foot uh, anywhere between 10 and 14 inches tall so it was, it was pretty tall a little little weedy a little stringy but uh, pray for us guys that we get a little rain like I said we've not had recordable rain now in about three weeks and uh, we have unusually high temperatures for this time of year we're uh, we're getting up in the upper 90s. Heat index is over 100 already, and it's not even June yet. Uh, and, and we've been dealing with that for two weeks now, upper 90s. Uh, usually this time of year, you know, we're still 80s. And so uh, it's pretty hot, uh, pretty, uh, I guess, uh, abnormally hot, which it normally isn't this hot. Boy, I got dust everywhere. Uh, thank goodness for the RZ mask. You know, they, uh, if you guys ain't got an RZ basket, I mean, they, this is where they really come in handy doing stuff like this. So, but anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Kind of disappointing seeing my yard look like this, you know. But, hey, it is what it is, and we'll start all over again. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe.